What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Rabbit Mind YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking about 4 gigabyte cards again. So please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, bell notification to be notified for future videos and let's see what's happening. So if we look back a long, long time ago, about two years or so, Ethereum's DEG file was below 4 gigabytes. The hash rate spiked and has reached new heights. <laughs> Awesome. Potent, I didn't even know it. Be sure to comment below. Anyway, moving forward, we are about two years after the Ethereum DAG file has hit the four gigabyte mark. We're almost halfway or slightly over halfway to hitting five gigabytes. So what does that mean? Ravencoin has halved. So now I took out four gigabyte GPU out of this rig here. This is where I kind of have my four gigabytes hanging out. This was my little Raven rig. Uh, I was going to put some LHR cards and stuff in here for later on, but totally different topic altogether. So I did pull a GPU out of here. It's a 4 gigabyte, and I threw it onto Ethereum to see what kind of hash rates I'm going to get currently on the network. So let me know below before we go any further. Pause the video or something and comment below. Let me know how much mega hash do you think a 4 gigabyte RX 580 GPU will get on Ethereum today. If you look at what to mine, it's saying like 1.2, 1.5 or something like that. So I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna find out how much mega hash a four gigabyte card can pull on Ethereum today in 2022. So here is my test bench. And the first thing I did, I went straight to the money. And yeah, you heard me, the money. Show me the money. So if you did catch my video, it was about two months after the four gigabyte DAG file did hit that I was still pulling about 27 mega hash on this same RX 580 four gigabyte GPU. So we are now two years later and many epochs have passed by. And if you're unsure, and every time an epoch does go through every X amount of blocks, that DAG file slightly goes higher, making it harder and harder for these GPUs to actually mine. So how much mega hash are we actually hitting on this four gigabyte GPU? Judging by this screenshot, it looks like we're about 10.12 mega hash still when what the mine was only telling us about 1.5. That's not too bad. Power consumption at the wall is about 130 watts. System uses 22, so we're about 109 watts on this GPU. So I also already know that time 16 slot does perform better with this GPU than the riser, but I'm gonna try the riser anyway because the GPU is already here. So I went into HiveOS, shut down the rig, installed it onto a riser, fired it back up, and let's see our results. Okay, so we're on the riser here and we're not mining at all. And so obviously I guess you cannot mine with a four gigabyte on a riser, but the time 16 is just fine. Well, it's not perfect, but you know, 10 mega hash is still all right. Anyway, moving back, this does leave prime discussion for some of the previous comments in CPU mining. If I look back here, you can see I have a LA or a load average of 2.15 and it's nice and red. Now when CPU mining, even though this isn't the CPU mining video, I can use this example which I kind of explained previous to other people in the past. But uh, what's going on here is when you do CPU mine, you will get a high LA average usual because you're using your CPU to mine. So it's okay. But people have been saying, you know, you can just go up to here, uh, load average this in the comments and you can change that. But I keep trying to say, that's probably not really a good idea because then I wouldn't know this is happening. So what I think is happening, I cannot SSH in right now, just the way I have my network set up and what my test branch is set on, like the router and whatnot. So I cannot SSH in, but what's going on in the background, I could pretty much say, we can see I have a high LA, we're not mining. Obviously there's something going on with our miner and our GPU rig is having issues. In this case, it's most likely saying it cannot load the DAG file. The CPU is trying extra hard to get things running, but it's just not working. So having your LA, at default of one is good for your GPU miner rigs. Now, if I would change that right here, uh, then it would change it for every single rig you do have in Hive OS, and you will not be notified if you do get that LA on a GPU mining rig. So if you do it just to get rid of your CPU mining rigs, because you don't like seeing the red there when it's 100% fine, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you may miss out if you have GPU mining rigs on your Hive OS account and not real realize that something may be going on in the background. You could have issues with one miner on one GPU or something like that. So I always like to leave it as is. The red doesn't bother me. It's a nice indicator to know that something could be going on. Anyway, moving forward, using a four gigabyte card on a riser does not look like you can mine currently today anymore. Okay, and now that we kind of got our numbers, let's just check out the profitability of mining on a single four gigabyte RX 580. 
Now I use the RX 570 numbers because they hash the same as a 580. The only difference here is this is telling me the RX 570 four gigabyte. And if I was to use 580, they do have it listed as eight gigabytes. So I would be getting 30 mega hash on Ethereum and these numbers would be out of whack. So I am using 570 here for the number. We just got to punch in our 10.2, 10 10.20 here. And we were using about 109 watts. We figured out at the wall. So if I calculate this right now and scroll down, where are we sitting? So it looks like Ethereum is down to 28 cents per day, uh, where we have Ravencoin is sitting at 32 cents, 71 cents before power, 54 cents before power. We are more profitable than some coins that are above us, but keep in mind, Ethereum is a fairly efficient coin. If we start moving our power prices up, most people don't have 10 cents per kilowatt hour right now. Example myself, I'm locked in at a locked power price of six and a half cents, but I still have to pay distribution fees and everything. And based on the power I use, that distribution fee is higher, higher and higher. And it moves up higher and faster than the actual power usage. So keep in mind when I do my power currently, I'm at about 15 cents per kilowatt hour. And some people are even at 20, 25 cents. So, you know, it all, it'll vary depending where you live. So now it looks like I'm at 15 cents on Ethereum, where if I was to look at say Ravencoin, we're down to 13 cents. So we're more profitable after power mining Ethereum on this four gigabyte card than if I was to put it on Ravencoin. Yes, Ravencoin did have a halving and the profitability dropped, but the profitability is slowly coming back up. Obviously we have better options here. We got Ergo at 42 cents. Uh, we got Ethash here that using the Ethash algorithm. This is Ela, Ela. I've never really mined that. So maybe I'll check it out sometime. That's 65 cents. It's been number one for these four gigabyte GPUs for, I don't know, last four or five, maybe last week, honestly, a little while here. But there are other coins other than Ethereum that's more profitable, but I just find it really insane and a nice test to see if we could still mine Ethereum and pulling slightly over 10 mega hash is looking pretty good in my eyes. Now, if you've been mining crypto for say, you know, longer than three or four years, then you've probably mined through a winter or two. So these numbers don't really bother you that much. So we could probably go up to, let's say 20 cents per kilowatt hour here. And let's see what kind of profitability we're looking at at 20 cents. So now we're sitting at two cents, but if we were to mine, like say Ravencoin, we would be losing 6% on this or six cents on this GPU. Obviously nice hash kapow, same thing. We're losing six cents, but there's still some other profitable coins out there, even at 20 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's not too bad. These aren't too great, but these are numbers you see usually in like crypto winters where you're doing like a dollar, 50 cents, 75 cents a day or something. And these are probably the numbers you're going to have to get used to when Ethereum does move the proof of stake. I still haven't done that video yet. I'm trying to get all the numbers together, but GPU miners, you really got to prepare for what's coming. GPU mining, you know, could be, you know, getting out the door time to start selling your rigs before it's too late but again if that happens uh then the difficulties and everything goes down and that makes all the coins more profitable so you know we're kind of in the middle of an awkward situation moving forward into gpu mining but who knows what the future will hold for us okay so there are results we can still mine ethereum on four gigabyte cards that's pretty insane who would have thought let me know in the comments now how many of you edited your comments, how many of you guys guessed the right number, and I'm guessing most of you guys probably didn't even comment. But I urge you guys to comment. If we get 30,000 views on this video, I want to see like 30,000 comments. So, you know, do it up, hit the comment, guess, help the channel grow. It's all up to you guys and the YouTube algorithm. The more comments we do get, the more the videos are pushed, and that's just the way it works. So I kind of encourage you guys to comment. I encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button bell notification also if you are notified through bell notifications i have noticed an issue people are not getting notified for the video so you may have to turn off your notifications and then back on so you know maybe do that for me hit it up guys thanks for watching this video i'll see you guys on the next one rabbit out Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.